Yo, Mavericks here once again. First of all, thanks for getting 1k likes on my guide with. Appreciate it a lot. I respect all of you who want to know how, why, and when Yoru plays work and not just throw some random lineup flashes. So I promised a full Yoru flash guide, and here it is. Enjoy. We'll go with some general info and tips for Yoru Flash. We can all agree that it's the worst flash if you use it in a default way. It's a big glowing blue Rasengan with glowing blue tail. So to make this flash good, we need to use a bit of brain power. First, you should always try to hide as much of flash as possible. Use walls, use angles, use every object you see. For the second, throw your flashes in spots so it's hard for enemies to predict position it was thrown from and pre-fire your pick. Third, remember that everyone focus vision around crosshair and it's really good to use flash so it pops out of focus areas of the screen. Fourth, sometimes just use flash to prevent a push, trade, get someone off position. And at last, as I said in my guide with, you should pick after, before or white pick with flash. For every pick there is a good type of flash I'll show later in a bit. Now let's talk about all types of Euro flashes. Let's go! So let's start with the default flash. This is the first type of Euro flash everyone tried using. You simply mount it in front of the corner you want to pick, like this. This flash is really easy to dodge so be careful using it. The only time you want to use it when they don't care about dodging your flash like in Lovilo or when you need to make a split second fast decision. Okay, let's move to the one way flash. It's a flash that pops in a spot that only blinds enemies. It looks like this. To make it a one way, use flash bounce so it pops between you and behind some object, but still in enemy line of sight. There's a bunch of ways to do one way flash, but mostly it's using object behind you to hide a flash like this. Or so it pops in front of object like this. If they like to turn your flashes, use a one way and pick early to catch them off guard. Or if you pick with someone to not blind yourself and teammate. High flashes use tunnel vision to prevent enemies from dodging it. You bounce it off high wall so it pops in top side of enemy screen. But be careful, don't overthrow it, know your angles. It's really good to use this type of flash when enemy likes to smoke entries for themselves like with Jet, Harbor, Astra smokes. Pop flashing with Yoru is simply hiding the most of the flash before it pops. One of the best Yoru pop flash I call pop 45. Behind the wall you want to pick, you aim flash at the ground at roughly 45 degrees to hide most of its trail. Like this. This flash is good in every situation when enemy is looking at your angle. Wall 45 is just a fast way of using a pop 45. To do it, you bounce your flash off the wall you want to pick at 45 degrees. Like this. This flash is good when you need to make a fast decision and you know your enemy is looking at you. To make a Yoru pop flash, you can use objects around you to hide flash trail. You can bounce your flash off the ground behind some object like this. Or you can toss it off wall like this. It's a really good flash when you play around the boxes or just stuck behind them. You can also use Yoru Flash to support teammate for a play. The best way is having some one-way flashes that pops in front or behind the object they play. You use it in spots when it's easier to set up a teammate than play off your flash yourself. Let's get into high level tech, shall we? This is the best way to pop flash corners while moving. You flash a pixel off wall and move a pixel in wall to dodge a flash. Use it every time you want to run and pop flash a corner.
And similar to pixel pop, there is a pixel entry flash that you can use. This is a good entry flash you can use to not blind teammates. For it to work, you need to do a white pixel flash like this. This flash will only blind teammates in this line of sight. It's really good to use when you need an entry flash and there is no smoke to pop flash it. All in one, I call flash lineup that blinds all sight, so it both self and team support flash. Support your entry TP and teammates with flash that blinds all common plate spots in sight. Use it when you want to entry with TP and help teammate at the same time. Combo double flash is using back to back flashes to do an aggressive push. The main thing is using two different flashes to push part of the map. First flash is for getting yourself into position. Second flash is to reflash them and flash possible enemies who played anti flash. Use it when you want to file full commit aggression with aggression. Fake flash is faking your position with a flash. To do it, you simply flash the position you can possibly be. This flash is really good in clutches when you have low HP, bad position or outnumbered. Fake TP flash. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's a new maverick tech I still haven't used much. The main point that you fake TP into your flash so enemy looks at it. To do it, you simply set up a TP, throw a flash at that spot, and when it's about to bounce, you fake TP. If your enemy has good reaction, he's gonna turn directly into your flash. If you know your enemy is good, you can set up a trap play, like this. And last but not least, my favorite type of Euro flash is the delay flash, or like I like to call them, the minus tempo flash. First is baiting enemy into flash with your TP. You delay your flash by throwing from far or a high to match your pullout time after TP, and bait your enemy into flash with TP sound. I really like to do it on entries to support a flash for myself, when they clear every angle with util like Fade Sky Dog or to jump over KO, Fade, Killjoy ult. And for last, baiting your enemy into your flash with ult. First way of doing it when you position yourself far from an enemy and flash at him while unulting so your equip time and flash pop matches. And the second one, when ulting, you throw flash high or far and an ult behind the cover at the same angle, so you have time to equip gun and kill after enemy gets flashed. I use it when my shorty ults get countered and enemy play bad solo position I can punish. And that's it. Hope you like it and you got something from this vid for yourself. Support with sub, likes and comment is every time appreciated and boost my motivation to do more stuff. And one more thing, you show me 1k likes on this vid, I show you every flash and TP I got on every map. Comment down below what map should be first, competitive pool only and we leave Lotus on last. Much love to you all. Peace.